Hi, this is Matt with Fireside Outdoor, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things to do, and that's grill on my pop-up fire pit. Before we get started, we do offer two different size grates. We offer the tri-fold and the quad-fold. I'm cooking for a big group of guys today, so I'm going to use the quad-fold because i got to put a lot of food on my pop-up pit. Let's talk about what you're going to have in your grill kit. Simple, real simple. There's only three parts. You're going to have four different stanchions. This is how you're going to connect it to your pop-up pit. You are going to have the grill grate rails. This is what your grill grates are going to set on. And then, of course, you have your grill grates. Let's go ahead and put this on so we can start cooking. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put our grill grate on our pop-up pit. As you can see, I already have one of the grill rails put in place, but let me show you how I did that. I'm simply going to attach the stanchion. And you can see how I have this one here. So I'm going to attach the stanchion onto the rail and I'm gonna slightly tighten it. I don't, want, I don't need to really crank down on it. I just line it up on the posts and then I slide it down. So now it's in place and we're ready to put the, gr the grates on. Before I put these grates on, let me just talk about, this is the quad fold grates. They come in two pieces um, and we put them this way so they're easily to easy to pack in and pack out. Uh, you remember, you could take this fire pit anywhere. We wanna make it convenient and easy for you guys. Um, the crossbars that we use are four millimeter, heavy duty. The reason why we do that is, you can see this is a quite a long span right here and we're gonna cook a lot of food on this. We're gonna have a Dutch oven on top of this. We're gonna have a bunch of burgers on on this. We're going to have corn. We're going to, we could put anything on it. This is not going to sag. It's not going to give into the heat. It's not going to give into the weight. That's why we made it this way to make it easy for you guys to cook. So all we're simply going to do is put this on top. Make sure that the part that has the crossbars is facing down. So that way you have nothing. It's just a smooth grill grate on the top. And there you have it. We're going to go ahead and push these coals aside and we're going to get uh, the food ready for the boys here. Okay, so before we get started, you can see that I am going to be grilling on a tabletop. We do not recommend that. It's easy to bump this and you could have a hot mess all over your hands and you don't want that. It's much more enjoyable to sit in your lawn chair and grill from this. It's the perfect height to where you could sit down, enjoy a frosty beverage while you're cooking and socializing with your friends. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so we have side by side uh, two pop-up pits on the right here. Uh, to my right, we have the quad fold grates, and you can see that when they are opened up, they pretty much cover the entire pop-up pit. Right here, I just wanted to show you the difference between the tri-fold and the quad fold. So the tri-fold comes in one piece. Quad fold, remember, is two pieces. The tri-fold does not cover the entire grill area. Some people might want to have this open right here so they can move some coals around, add some more coals. You could easily slide this to whatever part you want uh, on the grill. So this is the tri-fold. We're going to be cooking on the quad fold though today. So before I start putting the food on the grill, I just want to remind you, this the, the pop-up pit, think of it as like a convection grill version of a convection oven. You have that airflow coming through, which means there's very little cold spots on here. You got air coming through, it's going to cook faster, it's going to cook hotter, so it may take take you a few tries to master grilling on your pop-up pit. But hey, practice makes perfect and this is practice I don't mind, right? So let's go ahead and put some stuff on. We've got a Dutch oven full of some uh, cowboy beans in here. Remember what I told you about the heavy duty four millimeter crossbars on here? It can withstand the weight of that. We're gonna go ahead and toss some burgers on the grill. Let me get my spatula here so I can throw them on. I'll get a couple going right now. I'll add some more in a little bit. And then my buddy Mark, he likes grilled fruit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some grilled fruit on it too. So a little bit of grilled pineapple. It's a beautiful day out here. Make us feel like uh, we're on some tropical beach. So I'm gonna get this going. I'm gonna get these guys fed. And when we're done here, I'm gonna show you just how great this food turns out. We'll see you in a little bit. Hey, the food here is done. We're gonna, I'm gonna get this off the grill. We're gonna enjoy it. We'll talk a little bit more about the grates later. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and eat, thanks. Okay, so I got the gang fed. Now it's time for cleanup. And uh, we intentionally left it this way. Uh, I know that I would not be able to leave my grill like this, but we're doing this to show a point that we can go ahead and put this away clean it later and not have to worry about this getting the rest of our camping gear or supplies dirty. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the grates, we're gonna fold them up and we're gonna put them right into 
The carrying case, which is made uh, out of durable vinyl, so it's not gonna burn. If it gets dirty on the inside, who cares? The rest of our stuff isn't gonna get dirty and that's what we want. So we're gonna just go ahead and put these in. So once I got the grates put away, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the uh, grill grate rails. And it's really easy when you're doing this, you just take them off, they slide right off, just as easy as when you put them on. You just unscrew the stanchions, take those off, put them to the side. Put them into each other like that, put them in the case, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put the stanchions back into the case. I'm gonna put them on the grill grate rails. It makes it a lot easier to pack it up, fold it up, and there we go. That's, uh, that's it for today. Thank you for joining us on our cooking segment with the pop-up pit. It, once again, as always, if you have any questions, please call us or get on our website, firesideoutdoor.com. Thank you.